we are talking about the different types of vitamin C. There are seven types of vitamin C and each form is used differently for different results. We're going to be talking how you can pick the best vitamin C form for your skin concerns. Let's go. So vitamin C, as you know, is a great ingredient for your skin. It helps with hydration, brightening, uh, preventing skin damage, skin aging. It's great for pigmentation. It prevents and actually heals sun damage. And it also eats up or scavenges free radicals. So it's a great ingredient to have in your skincare. If you're in your 20s, you want to add vitamin C to your skincare because you're going to be spending a lot of time outdoors. So it gives you good protection against sun damage. If you're in your 30s, you want to include a vitamin C because around this time the collagen production kind of reduces and your skin starts to look a little dull or grey. And also you start getting uneven skin tone. So it's a good time to add vitamin C. Now if you're in your 40s or beyond, you absolutely need vitamin C because it's around this time that the eye area starts showing the first fine lines which uh, vitamin C is a great ingredient for and also your collagen production has reduced dramatically. Vitamin C helps build collagen and it also helps in finding pigmentation. Sometime around 40, 45 is when your uneven skin tone becomes very pronounced. Some people start developing a little bit of darkness here or even here or sometime around the lip area. So vitamin C is an incredibly important gradient actually all through your skincare but definitely past your late 30s and 40s. Now, what concentration of vitamin C is best for you? If you're just starting up on vitamin C, a 0.6% is fairly good to start on. However, don't be fooled because 0.6% when added with good ceramides can also be a great anti-aging option. So good for you when you're 40. Now, if you're looking at just slight evening out of your skin, you don't have too much of issues, but you just want to brighten and pick up your skin a little bit, you know, and get a little bit of shine and polish, then 15% vitamin C is a good starting um, uh, serum to use. However, if you're looking for some good help, you have a lot of acne scars, you have stubborn pigmentation like melasma, then, or if you have a lot of fine lines and skin uh, sagging, then 20% or higher vitamin C is the go-to option for you. Now, vitamin C has about seven different forms or different derivatives, but not all are made equal. Different derivative works differently and also gives you results differently. So there's the L-ascorbic acid, which is most commonly used. It's the most potent of vitamin C, but is also the most unstable. Um, it, is, um, it is the first vitamin C that was actually available in India. Then you have derivatives called SAP or sodium ascorbyl phosphate. Then you have MAP, which is magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. Then you have the ethyl ascorbic acid or known as EAC. It's seen in a lot of ingredients. Then you have the ascorbyl palmitate and ascorbyl glucoside. And then you have the tetrahexodyl ascorbate. <sighs> there was a mouthful. <laughs> so, but all these derivatives act differently for different skin concerns. The first one that I'm going to discuss is the ascorbic acid. Now, before we get into that, please remember that your vitamin C needs to come in a jar, in a bottle, which does not allow air to enter back very easily. So pump bottles are really the best. It doesn't matter whether it's a glass jar or it's amber colored or it's a thick pet bottle. As long as the container doesn't allow air to get inside, you're pretty good. And whatever form the vitamin C comes in, you still got to keep it in the dark end of your closet with all your secrets. It cannot be exposed to light at all because it really is unstable in any form and degenerates fairly quickly. Once it degenerates, it's not going to have the same results of the skin. So over the period of last eight months, like I said, I had a study going on. I used a lot of vitamin C. My camera is acting all wonky as you can see, but uh, I don't even know what's happening, but I'll just go ahead with the footage because I need to get the set of videos out. Um, yeah, so I was saying I used a whole lot of vitamin C. The first vitamin C that I'm going to discuss about is the original Cipla vitamin C. Now back in the years I'm talking about was six, seven years back, that was the only vitamin C available in the market. And in fact, it used to be available only at a medical store. So I started using it, I used to refer it to a lot of my clients and it gave you very good results, especially in the first four to six weeks. But uh, even when I was using it, I had a few things I was not happy about. 
The first thing I was unhappy about was that how ever carefully I kept that vitamin C. Uh, in the darkest of corner, very careful to make sure I'm quickly using the product and keeping it back. That product wouldn't last beyond 26 to 28 days. It would just last for that much or it would get brown. So 1400 rupees or 1500 rupees that I should spend, that I started spending on it, started becoming a lot because that's not the only skincare product you're using, right? So over a period of time, it really adds up. Imagine in about 10 months, you would have spent about uh, 15,000 rupees on just that. So that was kind of irritating me and also the fact that it was so unstable. Yes, uh, you know, L-ascorbic acid is very unstable, but this particular formulation would not last beyond 26, 27 days, even with best care. So if I kind of um, staggered the product, sometimes I, didn't, sometimes I didn't want to use it, there was no way I could have kept the product, it had to be thrown because vitamin C, once it becomes brown, doesn't remain as effective as it should be. So I was unhappy. Uh, but however, at that time, that was the only uh, vitamin C available in the market. So I was using it till a trip abroad got me with my first introduction to the ordinary and that love affair continues even today. I just love the ordinary as like so many of us, right? So the first uh, vitamin C that I picked from uh, the ordinary had magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which is MAC. Now, this particular derivative of vitamin C is known to give you tremendous brightening. However, it's unstable and therefore needs to come in a thicker emulsion. So, it's this particular uh, derivative of vitamin C, the MAP, is excellent if you have melasma, if you have very stubborn pigmentation, even if it's come from uh, acne or, you know, if you have scarring, it's just fantastic. So, I picked this particular derivative because at that time I was struggling with melasma. I've had almost seven, eight years of a long battle with melasma. I have a video on it to have a look. So that was my first, uh, that was my second vitamin C uh, for melasma. I was very happy with the product. I used it for two months and it gave me a dramatic results. So the reason I say that it gave me dramatic results is not because it was, uh, uh, you know, just because it was MAP, but keep in mind that my all other ingredients were the, still the same. I hadn't changed any other product. The only product that I changed in my melasma routine that time was the vitamin C. I moved from Cipla to the MAP, uh, the ordinary vitamin C. So it gave me fabulous results. And after using it for about two, um, two months or I think two containers, I then moved on to the ethyl ascorbic acid. Again from the ordinary, I think it's at 15%. The reason I picked uh, ethyl ascorbic acid is that where the MAP gives you a lot of lightening on the pigmentation, the ethyl ascorbic acid derivative form of vitamin C is actually able to give you a lot of radiance. It adds a lot of, um, you know, that healthy glow and shine to the skin, which I needed because with melasma, my skin used to be very, very dull. Uh, you know, I had very pronounced melasma here and here, and um, I have very dry skin. So that vitamin C gave me this massive boost again from the ordinary. Now, if you want to choose a good um, ordinary guide in terms of understanding which is the best vitamin C for you from the ordinary, the ordinary website actually has a full table on its website. I'll leave the link in the description below. Do have a look. It's a very good guide on what would be the good vitamin C derivative for your skin concerns. Now, past uh, the ordinary, which was again expensive, it was about 1500 bucks, but this bottle of, uh, you know, the vitamin C ordinary uh, lasts for almost two and a half months. So, you know, that's about 700 bucks a month. It's not so bad. And at times I also stagger my vitamin C. So I won't use it every day. I use it on alternate days. So I'm able to drag the formula for about three months or four months, which is great, which you cannot do with Cipla, unfortunately. Today's Cipla bottle, by the way, is at 2100. So I cannot imagine how you want to use it in a regular skincare because that's a lot of money on a monthly basis. Um, and I say that because, you know, that's not the only product you want to use. There are so many other products in skincare. So that's my personal opinion. If it's working for you, please do go ahead and use it and continue to use it if it's working for you. From that vitamin C, I moved to the vitamin C from the Recast. And ever since I've had a fantastic hot love affair with this particular vitamin C. The reason I absolutely love this vitamin C is number one, it's very, very affordable. It's at under 500 bucks 
And when you use vitamin C, you want to use it on your face, you want to use it on your neck and you want to use it on your decollete. Because as, as age sets in, you're going to have wrinkles coming in here first and then you'll have deeper wrinkles coming into your chest area, the decollete area, right? So you want to go into your vitamin C with everywhere over here. So this particular product with its affordability lets you use a lot of the product, right? Because it's very affordable. But the second reason that I really love it is because it comes packed with glutathione. I know, glutathione has had a lot of bad press with a lot of channels calling it, um, you know, an ingredient used for making you fairer and you shouldn't be using it. You know, there is very little science, very little science which says that glutathione can actually make you shades fairer, very, very, very less. In fact, some marketing guy has probably gotten smart and has pitched that as one of the biggest attributes that this particular ingredient has. But the biggest attribute that glutathione has is um, that it is an antioxidant, which is what your skin really needs because antioxidants are great for anti-aging purpose. And along with that, uh, it also has hyaluronic acid which is great. So you have vitamin C, you have glutathione and you have hyaluronic acid. So you get hydration, you get skin lightening because it's got stabilized ascorbic acid at 20%. So that is a massive dose of vitamin C in a stabilized form. So you can expect great results in it, especially if you have pigmentation or you're looking for hydration. This is a great combination. Uh, it's 20% vitamin C, it's got um, glutathione, it's got sodium, um, it's got hyaluronic acid. So great value for money. And I have gone through, I think, about four to five bottles of it. I've had no reason to complain. And along with this experiment, I actually started um, uh, uh, suggesting this vitamin C to a lot of my clients. Like I told you, I'm on a project which just started about eight months uh, ago. And I'm going to be releasing um, those results in the videos to come. So I've used it across different skin concerns. And I'll be sharing the results soon with you. And from there, I moved to the Dermacool. Now the Dermaco vitamin C is very very good and it's a little pricey because it comes at about uh, 900 bucks but uh, it'll last you for a good amount I think about 45 days or something so it's not so bad but what is really good about the vitamin C is that it comes with ferulic acid. Ferulic acid is fantastic for anti-aging and is also great for lightening acne scars and it kind of sits in with the Dermaco ideology right they have a lot of uh, products for acne so the vitamin C is a good addition in their portfolio. But among the good products that Dermaco has, there's definitely the niacinamide and there's the vitamin C. So give it a shot. It's hydrating and it's really uh, good for your acne scars. It also has ethyl ascorbic acid, which is, like I said, is great for giving you good radiance on your skin. I then tried the vitamin C from Pilgrim, which has got magnesium ascobile phosphate or MAP, which is like we discussed earlier from the ordinary has great skin brightening properties so it's great for pigmentation especially for stubborn pigmentation and also for acne scars not only that it uh, this particular uh, uh, form of vitamin c is actually very good with also other ingredients and this particular uh, vitamin c from the pilgrim has uh, olive oil and also has uh, sodium hyaluronate so it's great for if you have very very dry skin it's an absolutely great product then in my study, I included a vitamin C from the brand called Detoxy. This particular uh, vitamin C has a derivative called sodium ascobile phosphate or SAP. This particular derivative of vitamin C is great for acne scar lightening and skin lightening and skin brightening. It gives you both the benefits. This particular product is actually very well formulated because along with that, it also has licorice. Licorice is famed in Ayurveda again for skin lightening. Then it has um, Centella Asiatica or go to, go to Cola. Now, a lot of benefits of Centella Asiatica are actually anecdotal uh, as per my research till now. I haven't found uh, any studies done which really say that it's a fantastic um, antioxidant or any other great properties. But it is in there and it is supposedly right now a great ingredient. As you know, ingredients keep changing, you know, as there's more and more information, more user experience coming in, different ingredients move up and down in favor. So right now it's a good product to have. Then it also has uh, Japanese matcha. Japanese matcha is packed with vitamin A, C, K and I think B. So uh, not only is it giving you skin lightening, skin brightening, as well as anti-aging benefit, it also is giving you a lot of vitamins. So it's an absolutely great buy if you're interested. Uh, 
it's actually becoming one of my favorite vitamin C's to use. I don't think I'm loyal to any of the vitamin C's because I uh, have just been using them for so long that um, I kind of move very often between different types of vitamin C and I would recommend that all of you do too because different variations of vitamin C give you different benefits. So having gone through all of these vitamin C's starting from Cipla about six years back, here is what I recommend. Vitamin C is great for your skin type at different, different stages. Just be careful about what strength you're using and for what purpose are you using it. For best results, it's good to uh, understand the different type of vitamin C derivative in your product and see whether it's going to help you for your skin concerns. And before that, also be very clear on what is it that you're expecting from your vitamin C. You know, what is the top uh, requirement that you have? So, yes, vitamin C in any form will be anti-aging, but there are other things it can do, like it can lighten acne scars, pigmentation, fine lines, um, collagen production, all of that. But using targeted form of vitamin C will make sure that you actually find a vitamin C that you fall in love with. I hope you find this video useful. If you are new here, please do subscribe. And do leave your comments in uh, in the you know in the section below and share with me what was your experience with the vitamin C that you used and would you recommend a particular brand of vitamin C? Till I see you next time. Be good to your skin and hair, and take care. Now, if you are a skincare enthusiast and you follow a lot of channels and a lot of um, the voices on beauty. One of the questions that I suspect is going to come back to me is, but what about fragrance? Because a lot of the vitamin C's that, have, that we've spoken about have fragrance. I've used all of these uh, vitamin C's for almost uh, in the last seven to eight months. And uh, my experience with all of that is also going to be shared in a video that's coming I think in about 10 days time on how my skin reacted to the fragrance in each of these. So stay tuned for that as well. Catch you soon.